And we woke up to the news this morning that Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida sent two plain loads of migrants uh, to Martha's Vineyard off the coast of Massachusetts. We are not a sanctuary state, and it's better to be able to go to a sanctuary jurisdiction. And yes, we will help facilitate that transport for you to be able to go to greener pastures. That was Martha's Vineyard. Everybody there was a rich Democrat. 80% voted for Joe Biden. The median home price was over a million dollars. But I think it's just such a message. It's a message, yeah, we got a border problem, and you're ignoring the border problem, so we're going to bring the border problem to you. All those people in D.C. and New York were beating their chests when Trump was president, saying they were so proud to be sanctuary jurisdictions. Flashback. The president pushing an idea to release undocumented immigrants into so-called sanctuary cities, catching some on his own team off guard. But some big city leaders are now welcoming the idea. ABC White House correspondent Tara Palmieri with more. The city's leaders, including Chicago's incoming mayor, Lori Lightfoot, saying they will welcome migrants. And we're going to do everything we can to make sure that people who come to the city, whatever their immigration status is, are going to be treated fairly and with respect. That is why we continue to stand by our D.C. values, not just by talking about our values, but by making big investments in the programs and services that will ensure that immigrants in D.C. get the fair shot that they deserve. We celebrate every immigrant who is now a part of our D.C. community. We celebrate those seeking citizenships and those who are not. And those who are not. We stand together and say, no matter what your plan is, D.C. is here for you. Well, I, I can't say it any more clearly uh, of what it means to for um, for Washington, D.C. to be a sanctuary city. A few moments later. The federal government has to step up. I was in Washington, D.C. last week talking to members of Customs and Border Patrol, um, National FEMA, ICE, um, and uh, DHS. This is not a new challenge at the border, but this is a new uh, challenge for us, and we need federal support resources, communication, and collaboration, and that has to come in short order. Uh, they, if, if they're going to be ongoing busloads of people who are stopping here on their way to where they're going, which is not here, which is not here, which is not here, um, that we need a site um, that the, uh, the government, uh, the non-governmental agencies, NGOs, they say, uh, can use to make that, that stop um, as humane as possible for people who are fleeing horrendous circumstances. Uh, we have, at some point in time, they have to move to somewhere else. Right, we, we cannot, we don't have the services to take care of 50 immigrants, um, and we, we certainly don't have housing. We're in a housing crisis as we are on this island, and so the, we don't, we can't house everyone here that lives here and works here. We don't have housing for 50 more people. And in many ways, the governors of Texas and Arizona have turned us into a border town. The minute even a small fraction of what those border towns deal with every day is brought to their front door, they all of a sudden go berserk and they're so upset that this is happening. And it just shows you, you know, their virtue signaling is a fraud. Okay? They. Governors. Democrats say Sorry. we are sanctuary states up here, but we know the Republican state of Texas, the Republican state of Florida. You're feeling this, but that's okay. We're thousands of miles away, and these governors are saying it's not fair that we take on this burden. Right. We are also going to let you take on this burden. You're a sanctuary state. So you've said you're going to welcome them, so we will send them to you. We're not a border town. We don't have the ability. We're not Texas. You know, we're seeing anywhere from 1,000 to 1,400 a day. You're feeling this, but that's okay. We're thousands of miles away. Well, they are so over capacity, and the local NGOs are over capacity, that Border Patrol has just started dropping off migrants on city streets. Which is not here. Street corners. Which is not here. Migrants are having to sleep on sidewalks. Which is not here. In front of bus stops. Which is not here. The city is totally overwhelmed right now. The numbers in El Paso have shot up like a rocket ship. We don't have an uh, infrastructure uh, to handle uh, this this type of in a level of immigration to our city. We don't have the ability. We're not Texas.
These sanctuary cities can certainly expect a lot more buses heading their way because things down here not slowing down at all. Here in the Del Rio sector, they are still averaging upwards of 1,500 to 2,000 illegal crossings every single day. And they don't stop coming, 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 and they don't Case in point, take a look at this video we shot just after sunrise this morning. Once again, another single massive group of about 200 migrants who crossed illegally all at once here in Eagle Pass. And as you can see from the drone video, almost all of them are single adult men. Most of the people crossing here from Venezuela, Cuba, Cuba and Nicaragua. You'll actually see some of the migrants actually hung up a Venezuelan flag on the fence. Tú sabes cuando uno va para el mercado los tiempos antes en la cola. Así están esos refugios ahorita, mano. Como si hubiera pollo, una vaina así. Eso está así de puro venezolano. Mi puro mala conducta así como yo que le boletica a mí. Eso es lo que va en el metro así con tu teléfono y te dejo en chivo y lancha, te suena. Quédate dormido para que tú veas. Dos añitos, se acaba los Estados Unidos, se llamaba. Es el carro que viene subiendo, yo, y puros asesinos. And most of these folks not being Title 42, so most of them will be released into the United States once they're done being processed. The, the only thing the Biden administration here is for uh, in immigration reform is a wide open border. Uh, with as many people as we possibly can bring into the United States, knowing full well that uh, most will not report to an ICE uh, to an ICE station or to an ICE agent uh, where they are in the United States, and they know this. Uh, this is all a very orchestrated, very strategic um, situation that we've seen. Yes, we've got another 15, 20,000 uh, that are headed to uh, headed to the area, headed to the Texas border. Because things have changed. I would, in fact, make sure that there is, we immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. They deserve to be heard. We immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. They deserve to be heard. That's who we are. Uh, have over 2,500 a day, up to 4,000 a day coming across our border. And now you've stressed out the CBP resources. We immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. Um, and we, as cities and states, cannot be left uh, to fend to ourselves. We're going to have two million people cross this border for the first time ever. You're confident this border is secure? We have a secure border in that that is a priority for any nation, including ours and our administration. Is that Massachusetts Avenue that I'm looking at right there? Do you, do you believe that you are welcome to come to the U.S.? Do you believe that Vice President Harris is inviting you to the U.S.? Yeah, that's you. Thanks a lot. We immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. Yeah. And Vice President Harris uh, said that the border is closed. Is the border closed? Do you believe that the border is closed or is it open? It's open, not closed. The border is open. The border is secure. But do you believe that all the migrants believe that the border is open? Yeah, everybody believes that the border is open. It's open because we enter, we come in, yeah. free. The border is secure. We came illegally, not legal. No, le the border is secure. No problem. The border is secure. La frontera es cerrado or abierto? Abierto. Abierto. The border is secure. She says it's open. We immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. We're going to have two million people cross this border for the first time ever. I mean, contemplate that number. We're going to have two million people cross this border. I mean, contemplate that number. We're going to have two million people cross this border. And th they need, we need, D.C. needs more assistance. They're considering sending a maximum of four buses every single day to other cities around the country, primarily though, New York City, because they say that is where most of the migrants are requesting to go. Ron DeSantis himself had mentioned before, you know what, all these migrants coming to Florida, I'm gonna send them, he said uh, a couple of months ago to Martha's Vineyard. Julio, hace muy poco pasó un hombre enfurecido, dijo que sus hijos se tuvieron que ir de esta isla porque no hay trabajo ni vivienda y traen a estos inmigrantes hasta acá. We don't have housing for 50 more people. También hay otra gente que está culpando a la administración Biden, dicen que ellos tienen la culpa, no quieren a los inmigrantes acá, pero tampoco quieren hablar en cámara porque no quieren que los tilden de inhumanos. We have, at some point in time, they have to move from here to somewhere else. Te amo, 
Keep this open for me, please, folks. We are not a sanctuary state, and it's better to be able to go to a sanctuary jurisdiction. And yes, we will help facilitate that transport for you to be able to go to greener pastures. Now, I can tell you they are not angry at uh, Ron DeSantis. They are actually thanking him for having brought them to Martha's Vineyard. States like Massachusetts, New York, and California will better facilitate the care of these individuals who they have invited into our country by incentivizing yes. illegal immigration through their designation as sanctuary states. What do I think about the control of our borders? What would I do about it? We immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. Ladies and gentlemen, no great country can say it is secure without being able to control its borders. Yeah, everybody believes that the border is open. It's open because we enter, we come in, yeah. free, no problem. Period. 